Hey, hello everybody and welcome to Wallet Monitor. In this video, I will explain how to sign up to Wallet Monitor and how to complete all the necessary steps correctly. I'll start the tutorial from the very first step, Check Browser. It requires you to confirm that you are using the latest Chrome version, which is the one that supports Wallet Monitor. Now, after this verification, click on Next Step on the right. Exactly is Wallet Monitor and how is this extension going to help you increase sales? First of all, it will allow you to upload products quickly and will also help in sending your products. Install extension. You'll see a pop-up window in which you need to press Add the extension. Now once it is installed, you'll get a confirmation pop-up on the left and click on Next Step. Okay. Um, I'm directed now to step number four, my account. But in the sign up, you will be directed to step number three, settings. Here in the settings section, you'll fill out a form with your personal details. The nickname you'll choose will be your username. Then also fill in the first and last name and your phone number. In the lower part of the screen, you'll see your affiliate link which basically means you can earn up to 50% of your friend's earnings if he will use your affiliate link when he signs up to Wallet Monitor, depending on the plan he chooses. We will elaborate on this in the next video. Clicking on Next Step will bring you to step number four, My Account, where you'll see the way Wallet Monitor collects payments and will be able to choose the plan you prefer. Wallet Monitor charges money for the actual monitoring of the products and for their sending. All Wallet Monitor's other features are included in the monthly payment, so you'll be able to use them as much as you like. Scrolling down, you can see the plans. I recommend starting with the first plan. It costs $9.99 and you'll receive 40,000 credits and you'll be able to start using the monitor. Now, in case you have a lot of accounts or a few big accounts with a lot of products, you'll need more credits and you'll be able to get them either by upgrading to a bigger plan or add credits manually by clicking on the Add Credits button and pay according to the amount of, of credits you purchased. We'll discuss this matter a bit more in a different video. Click Next Step and arrive to the Templates Setup. Here you'll see the automatic templates that Wallet Monitor offers. There's one for eBay and one for Shopify. Let's click for an example on eBay's template to get an idea of how it looks. We'll now go back by clicking on Previous. In this page, you won't really have to do anything at the moment, but if you'd like to edit an existing template or, or add a new one, uh, you could do it later. To get to this page in the future, you can press on Templates under your username at the upper right corner of the page. Okay, next step, Store Accounts. This will be the stores you add to Wallet Monitor. As you can see, we have some active stores. Okay, I'll press on Add Platform Login and choose Adding eBay or a Shopify store. If I want to add an eBay store, I will choose eBay in the drop-down menu and press Continue. A new tab opens up and then I'll be required to log into my eBay account or to register as a new user. Now in case I'd like to add a Shopify store, I'll choose Shopify in the drop-down menu and write my store's name below without the regular domain final section of myshopify.com. The MyShopify.com is already here, so please write down only your store's name itself. Once you enter the name and press Continue, a new tab will open and you'll be required to log into your Shopify account. Now after adding our desired stores, both eBay and Shopify, we can press on the three dots icon on the right of each store's row and click Properties. This section allows us to determine the settings that we like for each shop. Any way that you edit the default settings, it's important to click Save when you finish before closing the window. And we'll tell you more about each of these settings in a later video. 
Once we're finished editing the settings for each of our stores, we'll click on Accounts and then click on Suppliers. Here, Wallet Monitor presents all the suppliers it supports. For example, let's take the supplier AliExpress and go to its properties. You can choose here whether you want this one to be monitored or not. If you want to